about a test day or initial testing session, how to build this out in Bridge. Um, now, this I'm going to take the opportunity to talk about two different ways to collect data in Bridge. One is tests. So think about your um, broad jump, vertical jump, bench, one rep max testing or estimated one rep max, things like that. Uh, and then we also have something called forms. So tests were really designed off of exercises or the idea of an exercise. They're pretty flexible. You can use them for pretty much anything because you know you can create exercises in our system. But we also have this concept of forms. We originally set up forms to do readiness questionnaires before workouts, for instance, asking um, sleep, hydration, nutrition type questions to understand readiness. And then we also uh, had a post-workout RPE form. We still have those. Everyone can you know, turn those off, turn those on. There's some level of customization to those. But we also have a bunch of other forms. Um, we have like movement screens, we have the, and we have a bunch of default forms for any account. We do have the opportunity to create custom forms. That's currently a platinum feature. Um, we are making some changes to hopefully allow some level of customization in the future for more accounts. So you know, feel free to reach out to us for, for questions on that. Um, but forms were really designed to be uh, kind of non-exercise related information gathering. You know, the readiness questionnaire, the, the post-workout form, um, the movement screen. So um, I think if you're signing up to Bridge, you're a month-to-month -month account, or you're on a, you know, a kind of a base package, really think about how to set up a testing day a testing session and using tests off of the exercises, that's gonna be the most robust, most, most flexible, easiest to set up. Now, I'm gonna show you some of the forms capabilities uh, and what I mean there. If you're really interested in this, yes, reach out to us, ask, ask us about our custom forms or to see which default forms might work for your particular testing scenario. But first and foremost, again, I have a testing day, regardless of my access to Bridge, what can I do? So um, one thing I always do when I'm building out, say, a template workout or a template day, in this case, a template testing protocol, I'm just going to go ahead and go into my library. I personally like to build in programs, but you could also build a testing um, protocol in blocks or workouts. You just build a block or a workout, and that's going to be a template for you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start a new program because I, I, just, I like to build in this interface personally. that's even spelled correctly, so I'm just going to say testing day. All right. So let's say you have multiple testing um, sessions. I'm using a different word here, so I don't misspell things. So I'm going to call this testing session one. And um, if you're going to have multiple blocks of testing, say you're doing your strength-based testing and your conditioning testing or something, you could do that here, but I'm just going to say, I'm just going to give this the same name. Again, you could save these tests as a block or a day and say we're doing, you know, broad jump, we're doing vertical jump, I don't know if I even have that in this account, so I'm just going to create one. We're doing bench press. And we're doing uh, squat. Uh, let's do it with a barbell. And we're doing a one mile run. We could use sprinting. I'm going to create this as an actual exercise. And, and this is what I mean by the flexibility here. Say that you have your own unique test. I'm just gonna call mine the Charlie test, all right? Just create an exercise for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert those exercises. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do for this testing session is, <clears throat> and uh, the idea of a testing session, hey, we're gonna do all these in a day, or you know, we're gonna have this 
kind of ready to go for all our my clients coming in. And maybe, you, again, you have testing session one, two, three, whatever, that's fine. Um, so then for, on this case, we're testing for distance. Oops, so I'm gonna turn on distance. And depending on how you're collecting this data, say you're doing it in inches, and say you're gonna do two of these. To make these tests, go ahead and click on the work set and say required, and you want your max distance. All right. And I'm gonna record both of these as tests and I'm gonna take the one that's the most, right? Vertical jump, same idea here, except we're gonna be looking for height, right? And we're gonna take our max height for two. Bench press, let's say that bench press is like the combine, right? And we're gonna go um, max reps at 225, or you know, maybe it's more realistic to do max reps at 135, or what have you. So we're gonna make this a required set. We're gonna go max reps, we'll do two of those. Actually, probably not gonna do two of those because that's too much. And if you wanna add some warm-up sets or whatever, um, go ahead, right? So, you know, maybe we're getting in a warm-up set. That's fine, okay? Back squat, right? Same idea, maybe we want a warm-up set. Say we're testing for one RME, off of their three rep. All right, one mile run. So this is gonna be uh, for time. You don't necessarily have to put the distance because it's already in the name, but that's fine. And we're gonna go min time for the one mile run. And the Charlie test, and this is the idea like, hey, I don't know what we wanna do here. Um, maybe this is a heart rate or um, force or power, right? I don't know what this, this test is on. Um, I know some people that might just score on their own range zero to three Right, it's your own like zero to three scale, like a movement screen. Feel free to use reps on that. Um, that'll just give you a numerical basis. We are working on creating um, new parameters. They're gonna be released, released later this year. So that if you did have something that's kind of completely random or different, um, it'd be a little bit more clear than just reps. Okay. And we're gonna make that a um, required I'm gonna leave that blank. Okay. All right, so now you've got your testing session. What you can do now is you can save this as a template so you can add this testing session into any one of your other programs. And I'll show you some examples. I'm gonna show you another example. Say you had, you know, testing session two, and this was, you know, different movements and you had testing session three. Okay, you have three different, maybe ones for beginners, intermediate, advanced. Okay. You would save templates of all of these, right? Well, I'm gonna open up another tab to show you what I mean here. One thing that you can do is just have a program called your testing sessions, testing days, And for clients that come in, it might have one testing day, it might have three, right? Um, you can just assign this as a multi-active program, as a second program. So I'm just gonna assign this to this Charlie, well, let's say to, to John here. He already has his strength and conditioning plan set up. But I'm gonna set, send this to him as a playlist so it's always there as an option. It's not gonna require him to do it, but when I say, hey, we're doing a testing day today, 
boom. Just go ahead and click on testing day and it's there on demand. That's one way of doing your testing days. Or, and, and remember, you can just remove this at any point too. So you could turn it on for a little bit and then remove it. That's one thing you could do. And you could just add multiple athletes to your testing day session, remove it, remove those athletes when you want. The other thing that I could do is find that athlete's program. Say it's, you know, Max is on this program. And within the, the program, I could either add that testing day. So it's the first thing that he does, or it's the thing he does, um, you know, in week two. So I just go ahead and insert it and, you know, move that to wherever I want that to go in the course of his training. Or another thing that I could do is add that phase Or what I call it testing days. Yeah. So I could go ahead and add that phase as like the first phase we do or the next phase. And it's just one week. It could be one day, three, three days. So that's how you can either assign it as a playlist as like an on demand thing to do, or you can actually integrate it into their program, either within a phase or as a separate phase. Okay. So that is using testing days, um, creating a template testing day or a template testing phase and integrating that into the program. One thing I wanna uh, mention here is anytime you've created an exercise for a testing day, it's now available to you to enter as test results. And you could do this at a team or individual level. So if you just have to enter one kind of thing at a time, Go ahead and find that one mile run. We are testing for time, min time, and this is my one mile run test. Go ahead and select all your athletes or just one of them. And then you could just enter in everyone's min time on the date. Um, this is great to do. You can do this via the tablet as well. Not on the tablet app. You, you log into Bridge through your browser, through a Chrome browser on the tablet, for instance. But it's, it's a nice thing to do if you're collecting lots of test data. And we're working on getting this into the tablet app as well. So just know that you can also add for a single test for a whole team. All right, let's talk about forms real quick. So if you want to explore the forms that are available on your account, <clears throat> um, just go to an individual athlete's profile page go to enter form results. Of course, they can fill these forms in on their phone. You can do it via a tablet. That's the most common. But go ahead and click enter form results and you can scroll through the different forms you have available. Performance log is that readiness questionnaire that's going to be default to come up um, on athletes phones before they do a workout. Post workout is that default RPE to come up after workout. And then you kind of look through the different options that you have um, on your account. Now this may change, but if you, if we have a lot of default forms, so if you're curious, ask about it. You know, we have default client intake forms and stuff like that. That's kind of what this is designed for. So again, this, these forms uh, can be um, sent directly to your uh, athlete's device, the phone to do on their own. They can be performed by you on a tablet. Say an athlete walks in for a session, you're filling in the form. Um, the, uh, and then if you're interested in maybe customizing a form, if you feel like if you've looked at this, man, this is the best experience. I'd rather do this than a testing day, then ask us. Um, we don't have a, a custom forms available on, for all accounts at the moment, um, but there may be some ways for us to um, to help you out there or um, look at some of the, the higher packages to see if that's a fit for you. Okay, uh, hopefully this was helpful um, and let me know if you have any questions.